how do I get back into a routine? So early before we spoke about a barrier, about a new job, yeah? You've got a new job, you've gone from a taxi in where you had a great routine and you could do that. You're now working away and you're going up and down and you're doing some great things for Man Be Fat and that's brilliant, mate, helping lots of different guys. This is something that happens for everybody, yeah? Now, a lot of people can write this. Your priorities becomes everybody else other than you. So for other people, it might be the families, the kids, the work, and you keep pushing yourself down a priority. There's something called self-care that I massively, massively believe in, yeah? I look after myself first, people say that self is I make sure my training is in first. I make sure when I look at my week, when I'm training goes in first and everything fits in around that. Now, Stu, you might not be able to do that, yeah? So how do you get back into a routine when you're going here, there and everywhere? For those who don't know Stu, Stu goes all the way around regionals, going map to fight, he might be down in Brighton, he might be up at Hartlepool, yeah? So, when you go away for two or three days, do you even have a plan for training? So no plan, so straight away, that's the first thing we've got. We don't have a plan, yeah? So when we're going down on our next trip, let's presume this one for three days, Stu. When you look at it and you know that you've got to be at a certain centre at seven o'clock and you arrive at five, you've got your meetings booked in, where are you then? Going to either get your steps in, which is great. If you get your steps in, mate, it's brilliant. But when can you do a workout? Could you do a home workout in your gym that we could set you up for? Not a problem. Could you say to yourself, right, there's two options here, Stu. You either train when you're away or you train when you're home at a weekend. Which one would you rather do? And then that depends which way we go with your mate. Yeah? So would you rather train at the weekend or while you're away? My gut for anybody watching is I don't like people to train at the weekend because what I've seen is so many barriers there. So for instance, it's Friday night. A lot of you are probably going out now. You might be on the booze, which is fair play to you. Um, Tell us how you're going to get up and train on Saturday morning. So... You straight away going to miss that session. So that comes a barrier to exercise because you're out on the pot. So you'd rather do it when you're away, Stu. Okay, cool. Few options, Stu. Have you actually... So I know you're a morning person, Stu, so let's make that easier for yourself. When you've gone away to these places, have you even looked where you're staying? As if there is a... Would you rather train in a gym or would you rather do some sort of hit training in your hotel room, or I've done it when I've been working around cruise ships when we got put in hotels tonight before and have not got a gym. I've actually gone into function rooms and done it. I've just gone up to the hotel manager, the reception said, do you mind, I'm just going to do a workout in there. They've been cool with it. I've done it in the hallways before now. Like I said, you can do it in your room. I just don't like to do it in my room, a bit of a weirdo. So Stu, would you rather go into a gym and do it or would you rather just train at your hotel? It depends what sort of person you are, mate. Okay. No, in the gym. All right, Sam. When you're in a gym, you need to look at every single regional place where you could stay and find out. This way it comes a bit of research, mate. What commercial gym are in and around all them areas? Yeah? So, for instance, you might stay somewhere and there's always a pure gym nearby. You need to find out where they are, yeah? Most of these gyms now have apps like Pure Gym and they'll tell you where the nearest one is and therefore you just need to get to it. Therefore, then after you've found that, you then need to develop the routine of, right, when, when I'm in Hartlepool, there's a Pure Gym there, boom, that's where I go. I've done it before now and my missus goes mad at me. I actually have a membership for three or four gyms, just for convenience sometimes. Uh, when it gets really dark nights, I don't like running outside. Um, 
I have three or four different gym memberships just because that's when I can fit my training in. I can only go for 20 minutes and I like to have a shower afterwards. So I'll join like the gym group and the pure gym before now. People go, oh, you send me 40, 50 quid. But I justify that as a big priority to me and it helps my health and wellness. So it's really important. So Stu, what you need to do is look at the locations that you're based at and find out which one there's more of the gyms nearby, and that's the gym you need to join. Yeah? The next question to you, Stu, is... Are you happier training or not training? It's a simple yes or no question. She's never asked a yes or no question, but here we are. So... Stu? We, are you happy when you're training or not training? Okay, Stu, so 100% better when I train, grumpy son if I don't. That's the way you need to look at it, Stu, yeah? If you don't train, it's going to have a knock-on effect to everything in your life. And guys, I'm a big advocate of this, and I'm going off barriers to exercise a little bit, but... I tell people just to train for the mental health. I mean, I'm a nightmare if I don't train for a couple of days. Like if rugby's called off tomorrow, I'm a nightmare. I have to go and do some of my own boxing and that, yeah? Um, yeah, so Stu, that's what you need to do. And again, going back to the same thing that I spoke to James about, Give yourself five reasons why that routine is important to yourself. Like, why is it you want to do it? Like, you don't want to be a grumpy sod. I'm not going to tell you them, Stu, because they need to be your buy-ins, yeah? If you want to share them with me privately, Stu, that's totally cool. Um, if you want to share them in here, Stu, as well, knock yourself out, that'd be cool. Okay, so Stu's done his five things. We've got mental health, confidence, weight loss, morning training sets to present for my day. Brilliant. Stu, just one with the weight loss, because I know you're very personal, man. I just know you don't mind doing that. I want you to give me a target for 90 days of where you want to be. Once you share the group, I know you like the uh, accountability, mate. 15 kg, wow, Stu, that is out there. Love that, mate. Yeah, I'll help you with that problem as well, mate. Uh